our today topic is to discuss how to get the characteristics curve of p n junction doubt experimentally we are using a board we are is a looking a p n junction diode and uh, there is a variable potential arrangement positive of the potential first of all is connected to the p of the diode which is uh, represented by a triangle and uh, negative of the diode is connected with the negative potential so in this way it becomes the forward bias for bi- forward biasing mean p of the diode with positive and n of the diode with negative there are two patterns one for forward bias other for reverse bias there are two switches so we turn down both the switches up for the forward bias so there are the two meters one is volt meter to measure the voltage given to the diode other is ammeter which is used to measure the current so this button if we turn the button the forward bias increases the second button is for the reverse biasing so what we do we increase the voltage in step in a small steps and we note down the current simultaneously to the milli ampere meter with the ammeter we can see in the volt meter there are two scales one for forward bias other for reverse bias because for forward bias we give voltage from 0 to 3 volt here and for reverse bias we give from 0 to 20 or 30 volt so that there are two scales in our same meter and uh, we are increasing slowly the voltage and uh, we note down the current through the uh, ampere meter in our ampere meter there are two scales one is milli ampere other is upper scale is micro ampere so for forward bias we use milli ampere and in a volt meter we use the upper scale which is uh, from 0 to 3 volt or so because uh, with the less forward biasing we get the more current so we to look about the what the 10 divisions it uh, signifies for the voltage and we to look the what the 10 divisions here in uh, milliampere scale what it signifies accordingly we calculate the significance of the one small divisions of ammeter as well as for the voltmeter now this is all about the we note down voltage and current then we draw the graph now we um, disconnect the this forward biasing disconnect forward biasing and we again we are connecting it uh, for reverse biasing now we are connecting p with uh, we are connecting with the p with negative voltages and n with and with positive voltages so in this way the doubt comes now in reverse bias now for reverse biasing we turn the switches down so now we use the second button for vary to uh, making the voltage variable and now we do not down the voltage which is uh, 0 to 30 and uh, we note down the micro ampere scale for current so as we are increasing the voltage now the current increases in micro ampere so because this is not an ideal diode in ideal diode the leakage current is constant by increasing the voltage but it is showing the increase in current micro ammeter micro ampere scale showing the increase in current because the real diode is show somewhat increase but even then the reverse leakage current is 1000 times less uh, of the 
forward biasing current. So then we plot the graph between voltage and current to get the reverse bias characteristics. And uh, we never cross the breakdown, re breakdown point. So thank you very much. This is all about the practical setup to get the PN junction diode characteristics.